The computational theory of mind, or CTM for short, is a theory of mind that argues that the human mind is essentially a complex computer program. This means that mental states are nothing more than information processing states. The CTM has been influential in the development of artificial intelligence. Many AI researchers believe that it is possible to create artificial intelligence that is truly intelligent by creating computer programs that can simulate the information processing capabilities of the brain. The CTM is based on the idea that the brain is a physical system that can be modeled by a computer. This means that mental states can be represented as information processing states in the brain. For example, a mental state such as belief can be represented as a set of propositions that are stored in the brain. When we believe something, we are simply retrieving these propositions from memory and using them to make inferences about the world. The computational theory of mind was first proposed by Alan Turing in his 1950 paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. Turing argued that if a machine could pass the Turing test, then it would be intelligent. The Turing test is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from that of a human. The CTM is closely related to the representational theory of mind. This theory holds that mental states are representations of the world. This means that mental states are not simply physical states of the brain, but are instead symbolic representations of the world. Representational theory is supported by a number of empirical findings. For example, studies have shown that people can reason about the world even when they are not directly interacting with it. This suggests that people must have mental representations of the world that they can use to reason about it. The computational theory of mind is also related to the language of thought hypothesis. This hypothesis holds that mental states are represented in a language of thought. This language is a private language that is used by the mind to represent the world. This hypothesis is supported by a number of empirical findings. For example, studies have shown that people can translate between different languages, even when they do not know the meaning of the words in the other language. This suggests that people must have a mental language that they can use to translate between different languages. The computational theory of mind has been successful in explaining many aspects of human cognition, such as language processing, problem solving, and decision making. However, it has also been criticized for being too simplistic. Some critics argue that mental states are not simply information processing states. They argue that mental states also have a qualitative character that cannot be captured by a computer program. For example, the feeling of pain is not simply a matter of processing information about tissue damage. It is also a subjective experience that cannot be fully explained in terms of physical processes. However, despite these criticisms, computational theory remains a promising approach that has the potential to shed light on the nature of the mind and the possibility of creating artificial intelligence. Now, let's take a look at the relationship between CTM and AI. Computational theory has been influential in the development of AI in several ways. There are several reasons why the CTM is so appealing to AI researchers. First, it has provided a framework for understanding how the mind works by providing a clear and concise way of thinking about the mind. This has helped AI researchers to design computer programs that can mimic human cognitive abilities. Second, the CTM has led to the development of new AI techniques, such as machine learning and artificial neural networks. These techniques are based on the idea that the brain is a learning machine that can be trained to perform tasks by processing data. Third, the CTM has helped to raise awareness of the ethical issues surrounding AI. For example, the CTM has been used to argue that AI systems should not be given the same rights as humans, because they are not conscious. In the future, the computational theory of mind is likely to be used to develop new AI techniques that are more powerful and efficient as well as addressing AI-related ethical issues. However, there are a number of challenges that need to be overcome before AI can achieve true intelligence. One challenge is that we do not yet fully understand how the brain works. Another challenge is that we do not yet know how to create computer programs that can fully simulate the information processing capabilities of the human brain. Despite these challenges, the CTM remains a promising approach to the development of AI. It is a theory that is supported by a number of empirical findings and that has the potential to shed light on the nature of intelligence and consciousness. If the mind is a computational system, then consciousness may be a property of information processing systems. This could lead to new insights into the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the human brain as well as AI systems. The computational theory of mind is a complex and controversial theory, but it is one of the most influential theories of mind in the 20th and 21st centuries. It has had a major impact on the field of AI, 
and it is likely to continue to be an important area of research in the years to come. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment to let us know your thoughts on it. Also, check out our other study review videos on other philosophers and philosophies.